everybody, welcome to another episode of On the Paint Table. This is my weekly show where you get to see what I'm working on, what I got done, and what's coming up. So this week, um, I pounded out a bunch of Nightkin for, not Nightkin, uh, Northkin for the Nightkin. I got fall in the brain right now. Uh, Northkin for um, the Company of Iron, uh, and of course War Machine. Uh, I was planning on doing the stone, and then uh, I had a bunch of samples for Private Your Brush Up of the new Northkin stuff for the Trollbloods. I love the Trollbloods. I think they are some of the most successful sculpts, uh, and just like designs the Privateer Press has ever done. They're uniquely Privateer Press, these mohawked trolls with like their sort of stony growth and they absorb everything around them. Uh, the smart ones are the small ones and the bigger they get, the dumber they get to the point where they just become like wild beasts and they have to be chained up by their smaller friends. Uh, yeah, no, great, fantastic line of models and um, the Northkin are the ones that just got me jazzed. They jumped ahead of the queue for everything and I painted up every single model for the Northkin that I had, almost. There's two, four models I have to paint this week. I'm gonna try and get done um, before I start on my next project, which is some Adeptus Custodes. Uh, I have the new Custodes Army stuff to, to paint up um, the uh, really cool new uh, Virtus Jet Bike Praetors, Trajan, some other stuff. I'm gonna try and do that next week. So I wanna finish the four Northkin models that I have to get done, and the stone, and a Dire Troll, and then I've got enough to play like a legit War Machine game with my trolls with Ragnar and the Stir Set that I already had painted. Um, I can play like a 75 point game then. Owen's pretty jazzed about War Machine right now because he's actually going to the OTC uh, relatively soon, the Ontario Team Championship. Uh, and so he's been dusting off and, and sort of like shaking the rust off and looking at starting a new army. Uh, and I've also got my signal I gotta finish too, but the trolls, when you see the Northkin, they're so cool, they jump the line. So anyway, let's show you what I got done and what's coming up. So here's what I painted this week. First of all, the, uh, the Northkin Chieftain, Valka Kurspone. He's a really cool solo. Um, he's gonna lead one of my companies of iron. He's just this like murder machine troll. He's wearing his polar bear like cape. He's got his two kind of like Orgothy axes with like flaming runes in them um, and a big beard. So like the trolls kind of grow these like sort of stony growths that come out of the Mountain King is basically just like got a big giant chunk of mountain on his back. Um, and this guy's has formed him like a huge beard, which I thought was really cool. Uh, and he's kind of a berserker. He's kind of got some, uh, an Orgothy um, Doom reaver -y thing going on. And I painted three lights uh, left to right here. We have the uh, troll basher, who's a dude with beatback and a big club. Uh, he's one of the North Kent trolls, and he's got a mohawk. And we got the Ice Troll, who actually has a reach weapon, and he throws it too. So he's kind of like a, a frozen impaler um, that can cause stationary. So he's he's pretty neat. He's like their version of an impaler, basically, um, with a slightly different thing. He's he's growing into ice. So he's his big like stony growths are all ice chunks sticking out of his shoulders and stuff like that. And he's throwing like an ice man spear. Which I thought was pretty cool. And then the Winter Troll, and he's just kind of like the Oogity Boogity Man. He's the, um, he's got this like, uh, the Rudolph the Red Nosed Ranger sort of like abominable snowman look to him, and he's got a breath weapon. So he, he, he basically screams ice at people and has a, I think it's a 10 inch spray actually. Might be an 8 inch spray actually. I might be thinking the Mountain King has a 10 inch spray. Um, they're all three of them sort of, I guess what I'd say on the same chassis. So if you look at them, their torsos and, uh, and bodies are all the same, and their arms and heads are all separate. They're all resin kits, really nice, really clean out of the, like right out of the blister pack. Um, and I was really happy with them, so I just put all three together and, and gave, them a, gave them some paint. Uh, and then we got the pig lookouts, and this is the reason why I started painting. I patiently painted all this Northkin, like, today. <laughs> I, I assembled them, I had them airbrushed and primed last night, I base coated them and washed them last night, and then I finished painting them today with the kids, because um, we had a kind of an at-home uh, chicken soup day, because everybody's a little bit sick. So I was looking after the kids while my wife rested, and I painted some stuff with um, the girl while the boy napped. Um, and they're awesome. They're like ambushers with military rifles, and they got a little leader guy here with his little sword. Uh, they're just like, they're guys in like, they, I guess you just say they're, they're trolls in parkas, um, but they're really nicely sculpted. And the reason I love them is for the last lookout who's disguised himself as a snowman. <laughs> He's my favorite. So yeah, he's the one that he's the one that got me to paint them. I'm super jazzed about him. Um, and yeah, and so there's four. There's two different like main sculpts. There's an aiming guy and a kind of like lurking guy. This guy's kind of like a Kiazzi thing going with his uh, his Davy Crockett hat. Um, and then there's the guy aiming down his rifle. And then there's the boss and the snowman. Great models. They're uh, four to six, which is a weird unit size. So they kind of go. They alternate between Widowmaker size and their full size is six uh, six man. So they're they're not two points intensive, and they eat up a, a, a nice sort of like chunk of company of iron as well because they're just they're just good mixed dudes that can ambush. So I'm stoked to use them in company of iron. So the two lists for company of iron one is four pigs, so four ambushers with Valka, and then the ice troll. So that's 25 points right there. Um, and then so like that's that's list one like that, and then list two is 
a full unit of pigs uh, with both the basher and the winch troll. Like, yeah. And I thought you could only, I might be wrong about this. I might actually, I might actually be able to use it because I thought you could only take um, one beast per war beast handler, but the war room is letting me do it. <laughs> So, War Room's letting me have two of these lights, and I, I don't know if that, that works or not, but I hope it does, because this is the other list. So, two 25 point lists, I'm stoked about it. Uh, if not, we'll just drop it down, the other one down to 20 and play a, play a variation game. But, a lot of fun painting these. Big thanks to Private Street Press for sending them along. Um, and, yeah, you kickstarted my trolls, so you'll see what's coming up. And the first thing that's coming up is more trolls. <laughs> I'm going to try and finish these. So, my plan is, next week I start another army. Uh, this weekend and the beginning of next week, I finish this army. So I want to finish the basher, the the brawler with his big like chain weapons. He's super cool, um, and the bears, and then a dire troll and the stone, and then I've got like I think enough to play Ragnar as Northkin with all the units that are allowed by Northkin in the theme. So that's the plan. Is I want to try the Northkin theme uh, under Ragnar. He's got his battle box stuff. He's got a, a splitter, no sorry, impaler, bouncer, and an axer. Um, as well, and then I want Dire Troll so I get some Rage, so I just have two heavies, um, along with the Brawler and the Stone, which is just kind of mandatory. <laughs> and I got a couple units, um, some Ambushers, some Lights, like, I'm stoked about it. And it means that you can put Pulverizer on, like, the Dire Troll or the, or the, the Brawler, the, um, the, 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 just the Dire Troll Mauler, and just have to keep it for free, which is pretty cool. Pulverizer, this guy with Pulverizer gets a lot of work done. Two initial Power 20s, um, that are Reach, and uh, chain attacks, they ignore shield wall and shields and stuff. Sounds pretty good. <laughs> I might need to get a second one of him. I think I think he's the one you have two of now. Um, and then of course the bear's gonna get done too. I'm gonna try and paint next week. Um, I've got a whole bunch of days in the studio next week to try and get this stuff done. I gotta finish painting, building the last of my um, Virtus Praetors. I built the first two here. Um, for my custodies, I'm going to build Trajan, and I got two unbuilt boxes of custodies to add to my built box of custodies um, to, to flush out my troop choices, make my other shield captain, uh, and make my uh, my vexillaries and stuff too. And then I got a Contemptor I got to convert up to look more golden burly man, <laughs> and I got a lighter I'm going to build too, um, and I should have 2,000 points. I, I'm pretty sure this is the army I can do 2,000 points of in a week, so we'll see. So you're on the, on the paint table, done, lots to work on. Um, I'm pretty jazzed, I got a few days in the studio next week where I can, uh, you know, like do like a sit down project basically and build and paint a bunch of stuff and then paint it like during the night. So I, I've, I'm pretty confident I can get 2,000 points of custodies done if I add in my Redemptor, not my Redemptor, my um, Contemptor and a Land Raider and the existing stuff I've painted too, so. If there's another army I think you'd finish in a week, it's probably going to be the Custodes. Uh, I'm pretty excited about them. I'm really excited about my, my, my trolls. I am, I, if I don't do it now, I probably won't finish it. So I'm going to do the stone, do a dire troll, um, and then finish the last Northkin models that I need to do, which is my bear handlers and my, uh, my, which one call it? My dire troll brawler. I think I need a second brawler though, because they're so good. Chain weapons are amazing. <laughs> chain weapons on heavies are amazing. Reach chain weapons are even better because um, they get around a lot of defensive tech and are just generally good. So, hope you guys enjoyed that. We'll see you on the paint table in the future. Uh, to check out Widgets and Wonders tomorrow, I got some cool new stuff um, for all you fans of sort of like pre finished terrain and this time from, from North America. Hooray! <laughs> some stuff from North America. Um, yeah, so you can see some sci fi kits for then. Uh, and yeah, tune in for that. So, until next time, Ash, have a great I hope you enjoyed that video. If you uh, want to support the channel, of course, like and subscribe and hit the little bell below so you get notifications when I post future content. I do post stuff seven days a week. Uh, if you want to support the channel um, further, you can, of course, buy a t-shirt through Spreadshirts, um, buy a measuring gauge or objective markers from Desperate Designs, um, or, of course, most importantly, there is Patreon. Patreon is what makes all this possible, uh, keeps the lights on, pays for the studio costs, pays for the equipment, model costs, and everything else, and most importantly, um, puts food in my kids' bellies and a roof over their heads. Uh, uh, big thanks to everyone past future who supported me. Uh, I do this stuff because of you guys, and of course, I will continue doing it as long as I can.